What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club Monday, guys? Well, hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend. Monday is here, and that means only one more day. One more day to the Precision DLC. Also, we have a ton, ton of news to go over today. But anyways, before we even begin with that, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into news. Here we go. Okay, so the first piece of news for today is like I was mentioning in the intro, uh, we have a new DLC that comes out tomorrow, the Precision DLC. Well, anyways, Oxygen David's Chelton Valley. He had this to say, Chelton Valley will be sent to Giants, hopefully on or around the 8th of December, which is tomorrow for both PC and consoles with the new soil DLC implemented. Uh, so this is going to be amazing right here. Hopefully he gets it out before Christmas because that is what he is trying to aim for. So just be patient. And when it comes out, I know it's going to be good. So there is that from Mr. Oxygen David. Okay, and the next piece of news is this right here from Black Sheep Modding. The Gator is now with Giants. Uh, they're going to be testing it. Hopefully it does pass the first time around. This will be coming out to all platforms. Also, the Gator Snowpack will be sent soon after internal testing. What does the Gator Snowpack include? Uh, let's see, it includes a snowplow, a salt spreader, and a fertilizer lime spreader on that one. Looks really nice. Okay, and for the next one, this past Friday, the West Newton Farm on consoles was released. Well, there was some bugs on it, but he has been fixing them. The first one, season hedge is not changing. He has fixed it. Chaff when mowing field two, fixed it. Floating marker in main farm, fixed it. Vehicle cell point on the dealership not fully working. He has fixed it. Other things mentioned, cow freezing. This is due to the nav mesh being separated and on a different height level. It's a limitation with FS, but does not create any gameplay issues. Also, the cow manure point. This is under the cow shed. Uh, also, cows feeding in grazing fields. This has been designed to only accept bales and to allow some realism when playing in seasons. Also, the sleep trigger location. This is located at the front of the cobble house. Updates. An update will be published for both platforms to allow full compatibility with the Precision Farming DLC. The update for consoles will also include all the bug issues he has already fixed. So this should be coming out very soon. Really good map and make sure you guys definitely rate this map on the mod hub. Okay, next one we have something from SMI Modding and his new mod that will be coming out very soon to all platforms. This is the TFD Fedatory uh, 140PB95. Let's see, price is 10400 Category, Bell and also Animal Transport. Let's see, Animal Capacity, Cows 12, Pigs 20, Sheep 23, Horse 12. Bell Capacity, 30 round ones, 21 square ones, or one cotton. That looks amazing right there. And of course, it's from SMI, one of my favorite modders. Okay, and the next one is a new mod announcement from CMT Software. This is the class Zerion 4500-5000. The first generation of Zerion 5000 is coming. This will be coming out to all platforms. Looks very good right there. And we also have a green card coming too. This is from the North Dakota Modding and Mapping. This is the Brent 2596 coming out to all platforms very soon. They have this to say, don't you want the biggest green card in the world? This thing looks amazing right here. I remember we used to have, what was it? The mother bin or whatever on FS17. It's nice to get something really big. Okay, and after that one, we have something from White's Bull Modding. Of course, they are putting out the WBM Diamond 2000, which I did a video on that. If you guys have not checked that out, make sure you guys do check that out on the channel. But anyways, their next new mod, here it is right here. This is the Loader Wagon Class Quantum 3800K, coming soon on Mod Hub for all platforms. Uh, this thing looks amazing right here. And actually, they are almost done with it. They are actually testing it right now, and hopefully in a couple days, it will be sent to testing. Okay, we have two more pieces of news to go over. The first one, Lancy Boy Mods and Maps. He's been working on a grain storage, but he had this to say, I know I was gonna make you wait, but really happy with the re-edit. Seasons Ready and Maze Plus Ready, coming out to all platforms very soon. That looks really good right there. And the last piece of news is from 82 Square Studio and kind of something bad. He had this to say, the TLX 9000 has been sent back to him again. The reason is in the picture. He has submitted a ticket to since he cannot replicate the issue mentioned. The truck acts and reacts realistically to the driving, so he has to wait for a response before submitting it again since he cannot fix something that he cannot see. I'm hoping he can figure out what this is and we can get it on consoles very soon. But there is all the regular news for today. Of course, we got some new mods to go over, so let's go over those new mods real quick. Let's see, on all platforms, we have an update, which is actually a new mod again on consoles. This is the International Trans Star. It is finally out again. Hopefully it stays on the mod hub. Uh, but anyways, the next one we have is the John Deere Ripper 2100, the Mossy Ferguson 700, the Cargo XK18, 
the Christmas pack, the house pack, the brick house, the wooden dog house, farmhouse by Lancy Boy and Steve Mods. Make sure you guys go and rate this one in the mod hub. Large shed, two story house pack, update to the Lizard 2000, and that is it. Kind of a slow day, but they're probably testing out the new DLC that's coming out tomorrow. Okay, but we got a huge testing list to go over, so let's go over that testing list real quick. Mods and testing on PC, we have advanced stats, the Agrimat U417, Hercules 1400, Fence and Gates, the Flegal VFW 14000, Homestead Economy, Iberian Southlands, the John Deere 2400, Kirchner T6000, Lamborghini Mach VRT, Lizard Castor, Lizard FS62, Metal Plates with KMU Stickers, Pelosi, Reba 180, Single Family House 3, Sosnovka Placeable Pack, SP Dump Trailers, Street Light Pack, and last but not least, the Zeter Crystal 80, 45, 81, 45, 10, uh, 0, 4, 5 pack. So that is on PC side. On PS4 and Xbox One, well, pretty much consoles, we have the Amazon D1, the Amazon D8 25 Super, Christmas Market Gingerbread, Gas Station, the ITS Winter Pack, the John Deere 1113, the John Deere 8760, 8960, that is still in testing. Hopefully it does pass. That'd be nice to come out tomorrow with the Precision DLC. Then we have the KFMR Apollo 1015PHX, Crone Comprima F155XC, La Cronella, Linear Distributor, Lizard 3000, Lizard 43260 Loader Crane, Lizard M20, Lizard NS900H, Lizard Poplar Cutter, Lizard Rumbler Van, Lizard Speed Mix 3000, a lot of lizards, Lone Oak Cell Points Pack, Masa, Modern Polish Stable, Multi Fruit Container, Pellet Box, Rabe MKE250, Refurbished Bunker Silo, Seasons Geo Withers Farm, which I actually talked to Missy B on that, and she is actually converting Withers Farm to have the new DLC on that too, so that is why it's not out right now. So she's going to be having that whenever it comes out on the map, so it's going to be ready for it. Then we have Self Made Fence, Snowman, Sosnovka, Triple Axle Toy Hauler, Vintage Diner, and last but not least, the VSTR platform. Number I was going to be testing is 82. Current engine for guys is three work days. Okay, guys, so that was the news, the new mods, and of course, that testing list for today. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, actually, we're going to be changing up the channel probably in maybe this week, maybe next week. What we're planning on doing is actually combining the FS Daily News and the new mods into one big video with timestamps and all that. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Today's schedule, no other video, no live stream, because tomorrow the Precision DLC comes out, and I want to do a live stream on that. And then, of course, no new mod video. Well, hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do like always. Have an awesome day, farmers. Peace.